Many people are saying that Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken was a cliché movie with a very generic and predictable plot. For me that didn't matter because I was in love with the concept from the start, but I was inspired to try to find some twists the audience wasn't expecting. So, here are 5 Expectations That Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken Subverted Spoiler alert for those who have yet to see it Number 1 Chelsea slash Nerissa turned out to be the queen of the mermaids While this isn't too shocking of a twist And possibly something you could have guessed It's a twist nevertheless Though it does leave us to wonder what's going to happen with the rest of the mermaids Now that their queen is captured Number 2 Captain Jordan Lighthouse has a crab for an animal companion rather than a traditional parrot. This is a creative choice that brings us something new instead of the same old thing over and over. Of course I'd have a sea slug for a companion, specifically a Spanish dancer. I don't remember the crab's name, so comment down below if you do. Number 3. Ruby walks on land in her kraken form. Though Ruby is shown erupting out of the building in the trailer, I wasn't so sure she would be on land for very long and would likely slip into the water almost immediately. But lo and behold, there was quite a long sequence, where she was moving on land. I was personally very delighted with this, as I wanted to see, what the tentacle animation would look like on land. Number 4. There's a very limited number of Krakens. Everyone was likely expecting an empire filled with giant Krakens, but it would turn out that only Ruby's lineage spawns Krakens, with the rest of the race being human-sized, as well as lacking tentacles. Not only this, but only the female members of Ruby's family inherit Kraken characteristics, making it similar to the functionality of an ant colony. Number 5. Water isn't necessary. It seemed as though Ruby's Kraken transformation is triggered through submersion of water, or at least salt water. But as it turns out, it can also be triggered through strong or intense emotion, as seen when she gets into an argument with her mother. Number 6. Connor doesn't fall in love with Chelsea after she steals Ruby's credit for saving him. It's very much a cliche trope that an individual falls in love with someone who saves them, but Connor does not develop feelings for Chelsea after she appears to save him. This honestly makes it feel a bit more realistic in my opinion. I'm personally very glad they didn't go with this route. Number 7. Chelsea's demeanor at times becomes so convincing that we begin to wonder what her true intentions are. Specifically, the scenes where she and Ruby are laying on the seabed, as well as when they arrive at Agatha's house party. Well, there you have it. Those were five expectations that Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken subverted. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I'll close out with some comments on the film, but before I do, I have to apologize to Squidward for forgetting to include him in my humanoid cephalopod history video and make it up to him. This was all my fault. I was the one who wanted to relax on Sunday. Now if you'll be so kind as to leave so I can get ready for work tomorrow. Mr. President, John, we just wanted to get out of my house! Super Seagirl Bestie.